How y'all doing today? It's a video of how I got my wind turbines hooked up. And I'm a proud owner by all kind of stuff from Missouri Wind and Solar. And a great store. Proud to buy stuff from them. I buy a lot of stuff from Missouri Wind and Solar, Hurricane Wind. Uh, Jeff um, at Missouri Wind and Solar has been real helpful from, from his videos. I'm not as good looking as he is, but I tell you what, it's a good store. And I bought I bought from all the wind stores. So, but Jeff, I tell you, he's got most of the stuff that I, you know a lot of stuff that I like. Uh, great man, uh, his wife Molly, really good. Thank y'all. Anyway, this is a video of, real quick of my uh, combiner box. How I get everything hooked up. Okay. It's a Cantex box, but Jeff specifically made it, and that's why it's kind of real special to me. But I'm going to show you what it looks like. Okay. I got my 24 volt and my 48 volt. Okay, let's see if I can get in here for y'all. Okay. Right here is my... Uh, don't have much light. Let's see here. Okay, that's my positive cable coming in there. And that's my ground. That is going to my battery bank. Okay, that's number two wind turbine. Okay, you watching, Billy? Make sure you watch now. I know it's kind of hard for you to understand sometimes, but no, I'm just kidding, Billy. <laughs> oh, simple five. But this is my negative PV cable coming from number. Two turbine, and this is number two turbine. That's a 48 volt sway in the front. Yeah, so I'm gonna use number 10 PV cable. It's great. And then right down here, that is number one wind turbine, which is right behind me. And that's the positive. I'm gonna mark positive with red tape. And there's my ground for my, you know, coming from my uh, wind turbine for number uh, one also. And yes, I got a bunch of cable right here, but I'd rather have a little extra, you know, in case I need to do some modifications or something like that, than I have enough. That's my, my theory, and everything is grounded. And the cable goes down there. Okay, the cable goes down there. To get, that, that is the AC coming in, going into the shop. Okay, that's coming from my wind turbine. Okay, and it's going on the ground to right here. That's on the Wind Max 24. And that's my PV cable right here, all going down there, coming to here. Okay, on the ground. Then coming to this um, conduit box. Okay. That's coming up through here and going into my shop. Okay. Y'all follow me. But not to confuse y'all, this is what's going into the combiner box. Okay. This right here, my uh, sweet number two wind turbine. Okay. And and I got my other one, my Winmax 24 volt, is inside there, the rectifier. Okay, and that's all going down through there and I'm going through the wall to my combiner box um let me see let me find a flashlight real quick oh this is a real good thing to have as a brother oh uh, one of these little small brother uh ipad touches the uh, label printer that's a real good thing and label everything got that off of ebay ebay's a great store uh, let me see here we find oh here we go here's some light we got some light okay right here is where my cables are running out of that turbine right there and going through the wall right through there everything's going through right through there just my number 10 ca cables and the eight ACs coming out of there into that on um, rectifier box Actually, is a PV um, a PV combiner box, but all that goes out there from my rectifiers to my combi to my combiner box. 
and that's going out right through there and that's duck seal okay y'all then after this after that y'all saw the combiner box up there at the beginning okay now here we go all right now watching I hope I don't fall down no <laughs> anyway my battery my batteries are which y'all saw outside come from a combiner box on the ground are coming right here there's my wind turbine cables and believe it or not hey yeah Missouri wind and solar I mean I, I got great the best supplies you can get I'm telling you but anyway my wind turbines wind turbine cables right here okay right here wind turbine cables right here negative positive okay and that's my other diversion charge controller and then they, they leave here and I got breaker a breaker right there from my wind that 60 amp breaker there okay and I, I got my other 60 breakers in there from my diversion controller in my Missouri wind and solar that's right is there a solar solar air heater? I mean, excuse me, wind, Missouri wind and solar 24 volt 1000 watt air heater. And there, I'm proud to display it. Amen. All right, y'all. And right here, the bat battery leads come right in here. Okay, come right in here uh, to my. Inverters, everything comes right here. Everything's fused. All right, and that's where it comes into. Okay, got 24 volt and series parallel. That is my battery bank, and my grounds are right here. Okay, my grounds are right here. Comes to my last battery. Okay, and I got yes, you see, I got holes for ventilation, but these are AGM batteries, absorb glass mat. Okay, they really don't need to be ventilated by doing it. And there's my outback temperature temperature sensors. But anyway, here is my battery bank. I have a lot of guys asking me about my battery bank, but here she is. But um, I'm doing some more projects on everything. And my neighbor, he built this box for me. It's really nice. He's a, he's a cabinet maker. Really nice. Really great guy. Great neighbor. Good to have a nice carpenter next year. I'm a, I'm a pretty good carpenter, but not as good as he is. I can I can do enough to get by. But anyway, I got this labeled. Cost and solar electric system connected, and I got my batteries. In case something ever happens to me, somebody knows what the heck's going on or what everything is. But anyway, um, amp meter. Um, as you see here, got everything labeled. Let's see here. Sorry for the light, y'all. But anyway, that's my digital amp meter, and here's my 0 to 60 amp meter. Like I said, the wind comes out of there from the combiner box, and it goes to that underground, it goes to the conduit. Also, here's another little plot, something I've been doing. Thought I'd show y'all. A little update. Man, I tell you, Jeff's got all kind of neat little handy stuff at that store. Whoa, comes up with something new all the time. But right here, this cloudy day out there today, that is a little scorpion from Missouri Wind and Solar uh, volt amp meter, and from a solar. That's this is from a off little off grid system, just strictly off grid system. And there are my two batteries down there. Um, this is something I'm running a stereo with and TV and all that good junk. But, and it's, uh, it tells you how much you're burning. 13.5 watts. That's exactly what Jeff's meter says. I mean, you know, as far as volts. And it amps, and when the sun pops out, it'll get better. But this is a Xantrax uh, Pro Watt sine wave. Uh, 600 water nice little unit for off-grid 
Okay, y'all. Thank you for watching. This is KVUSMC or Kenny. Y'all have a great day, y'all. All right. Bye-bye.